During his campaign for President, Joe Biden promised to funnel a billion dollars a year into reforming the juvenile justice system and keeping children out of adult prisons. KXAN's Avery Travis has a closer look at how local advocates hope these funds will be secured and used in Travis County and across Texas. After you've been through the system, after you've been through a lot of trauma, a lot of times people give up, especially at that age. Nick Hollins knows that firsthand after spending time behind bars as a teen. It, it was a very traumatic experience. He says a mentor made all the difference, helping get him access to technology and a job. Now he uses those tech and data skills every day to fight for social and racial equality through policy changes with the Austin-based nonprofit Measure. He's been keeping his eye on a campaign promise by President-elect Joe Biden a grant program to find mentors, repurpose youth prisons, and move towards community-based alternatives. The environment matters, especially when you're going to school. In that kind of environment, you have to come back to your cell to do homework. That if we address these issues on the front end, that we can do a lot better job. It'll be um, more cost savings instead of building these costly um, statewide um, juvenile justice facilities. Travis County's juvenile public defender says federal money often gets hung up at the state level and funneled towards the prosecution of kids who enter the system. Then the pandemic led to some additional budget cuts in his office this year. Just last week, the U.S. Office of Juvenile Justice and Delinquency Prevention doled out more than $220 million, the largest portion going towards mentoring programs for these kids but less than 1% will go towards their legal defense. I know I'm going to be one that's going to um, do everything I can to make sure this will follow through and that we can get some of those monies down all the way here to our local level. Avery Travis, KXAN News. Texas advocates are also trying to shine a light on the treatment of children at the state's five large youth detention centers. Last month, they came together to file a federal complaint against the Texas Juvenile Justice Department. They cited grievous violations of children's constitutional rights, including sexual assault accusations and shortages of mental health professionals. Let's toss it over to Jim.